Well, plenty of clouds out there dominating the sky. No matter where you go, still seeing those clouds hang tough early on this afternoon. And a lot of this cloud cover included with the lower humidity, that breeze picking up a little bit. And those temperatures anywhere from the upper 60s to low 70s, certainly giving off more of a late summer, early fall vibe. So I decided let's count down to some late summer, early fall events. But the Canfield Fair, only 48 days away. The start of the NFL season, which of course kicks off like normal on a Thursday, 56 days away, and then 112 days until Halloween. Don't worry, plenty of summer weather just ahead, including T minus 24 hours. We'll see those hot temperatures in the upper 80s return. Plus, another shot at a heat wave. We'll tell you about that in just a moment. Why the clouds? Well, this is what was post tropical cyclone barrel. Uh, this is the remnants that are continuing to move and dominate across much of New England. It's kind of circulating. We're seeing that wraparound flow and having enough moisture to produce a good deal of cloud cover. Here's how things look on high res visible satellite. You can tell a lot of this real stubborn cumulus field across northeast Ohio and western Pennsylvania not going anywhere just off to the west of us more of a scattered cumulus field. You really have to go west of Mansfield to see more of a mostly sunny sky. So a lot of us across northeast Ohio getting in on these clouds early on in the afternoon. Temperature wise very uniform. Most of us in the low 70s. That wind right now picking up out of the northwest to nine miles per hour. Wind gusts Winds gusted rather close to 40 miles per hour yesterday at the airport. But of course, the story, the big change in those dew points. Dew points actually started to sag and fall a bit yesterday afternoon. Right now, there's a difference about seven degrees from where that dew point was yesterday. So those dew points yesterday peak in the low 70s right around this time. And then from there on out, they fell back into the 60s. As far as where we go from here, the rest of the day, not expecting much in the way of uh, uh, precipitation. I actually see those clouds breaking up later into the day, but temperature wise uh, we will be hard pressed to make it to 80 degrees. So if you are heading out to the Trumbull County Fair on this Thursday, I don't expect anything in the way of precipitation, but expect those temperatures to be in the 70s. High temperatures at the airport will make it to 78 degrees today. A more comfortable day, but if you like that heat, that will return for us as we head into Friday. Friday midday, temperatures will be right around 80 degrees, staying dry. Temperatures will peak in the upper 80s. Saturday will start off that weekend dry and high temperatures once again making it into the upper 80s. And then as we head into Sunday, I do think we could see the return of shower and thunderstorm development the second half of the day. However, high temperatures will definitely challenge the 90 degree mark and We'll see a few more chances to see uh, showers and thunderstorms around next week. We do need it. Part of Northeast Ohio under a moderate drought status. A lot of us here in Northeast Ohio and Western Pennsylvania in that abnormally dry category. But that second heat wave of the year, very possible, even starting on Saturday. But 90 degree high temperatures forecasted Sunday, Monday and into Tuesday. We'll have another check of your forecast and more news in a few minutes. Stay with us. 21 News Midday. We'll be right back.